Hello, in today's video, I want to talk about the Wacom Bamboo Slate. So I haven't talked about this product in a while. The way that I use this is in a number of ways. I use it for a whiteboarding tool, which I'll show a lot in this video. I also use it for digital note taking. The beauty of this device is that it is, um, you're writing on a pad, you have to write on the special pad and you have to use the special pen that comes with it. But other than that, you can use any paper that you want. So I'm just writing on a legal pad here and whatever I ink here is going to show up on my screen and be digitized automatically. So I'm gonna show you how that works. I'm gonna start with how I use this as a whiteboarding tool and it's also wireless so I can move it around anywhere I want and also how I make answer keys and so forth. So let's jump in to that portion of the video right now. I'm gonna start by turning it on. So you just press this button to turn it on. And so now you can see that it is on. When I start writing, it's going to turn to blue. So let me show you how that works. You can see it turns to blue because it indicates that I'm writing and it's picking stuff up. And I'm gonna show you how I can see this in real time and also how I can see it afterwards. So again, I'm just writing on the piece of paper with this special pen and all of this is going to be digitized. So I'm gonna take you over to the Inkspace app, which I have opened right here. And this is the app that the Wacom Bamboo Slate works with. So I'm gonna start by showing you this live mode feature, which is really cool. So I'm gonna turn that on and then all I do is I tap to connect. So basically what that means is I press the button on my Bamboo Slate and then it established a connection. All right, so let me go ahead and start writing. Let me just rewrite the hello so you can see it's picking that up in real time. It picks it up exactly as I'm writing. It shows it on the screen all in real time. And then when I'm all done writing, I would just press this button again one time so it turns from blue to green again. And what that did was it saved what I had written. Let me show you how that works. So if I go back to the home, then it saved exactly what I had written here. And then say I didn't really finish that note and I wanna finish writing it. Um, I can choose to go into live mode if you just wanna write, like if I just wanna write an answer key, for example, I would just write out all my notes and then press the button once so it just saves it all. I don't need to see it in real time, but the real time can work great in the classroom. So again, what I'm gonna do right now is just press the button to establish a connection. Now it's gonna pull up a blank piece of paper, even though I've written, right? It didn't pick that up because the live mode's just picking up what I'm writing as I'm writing it. So I'm gonna write a little bit more. And so you'll see that I added something. I can't see what I previously wrote because I had saved it. But what I can do is once I press the button again, captured that page, go back into the Inkspace app, and I kind of have these two pages here. And what I can do is I can actually merge the two pages. To do that, I'm gonna simply click on one of the pages and I'm gonna go into edit mode. Now look at what I can do in edit mode. I can actually go into split page so I can see what I had done. So maybe I only want part of the page. I can split it and get only part of what I wanted. So that's kind of cool. You can see the progress of your writing. If there's anything you messed up, you can erase it even after the fact, so that's kind of nice. You can also add little bits with handwriting if there's anything you need to add. You cannot do that though with the Bamboo Slate itself. At this point, these editing tools you have to do with your mouse. This layer panel is what I see here at the bottom, so I could add another layer if I need to. So I'm gonna delete that for now. And then I'm going to save and just go back to my library. Let me go back to doing what I said I wanted to do, which was merging this page and this page. So basically if I go in and I edit the second page and I just copy this layer, then I can go back, go to this page, edit, and I can paste that layer. And so now I've merged the two on top of one another and I can save that. So now I have everything that I had written all on one page. Some other things that I love about this is that it has OCR recognition built in. So I can search any of my notes. So if I wanna find where I wrote hello, it finds those two documents where I wrote the word hello in it. 
So it's great handwriting recognition. I love that. You can also organize by tag, so then they become like folders. So if I wanted to tag this note, you would just put it into a group, and so maybe I wanna put it into my notes, then it would go into my notes folder right here. So that's another way to organize things. As well, what you can do is you can take this note that you've handwritten and you can export it as text. And what it does is it does handwriting to text right here. So sometimes you just wanna be able to write on a piece of paper and you need it to then somehow transfer onto your computer. Here you go, you can do handwriting to text all with this tool. So then I would just export the text and it would save as a text file. You can also just copy and paste this into a program of your choice. There's some other export options here. So you could export directly to a Word document. That is an option. And you can also export it as an image file and you can even export it as a video. Now, when you export as a video, this is no audio, just the visual, but you could do a voiceover after the fact to create kind of like a screencast and that's a very simple way to do this. So in summary, I would say that the Wacom Bamboo Slate is a great option if you really want to be able to handwrite on a piece of paper. So this is whiteboarding only. So that's the thing to know that this is just a kind of whiteboarding tool. You're just writing on that blank sheet. You can't write on top of a worksheet. You can't be writing on top of like your PowerPoint or your Google Slides or anything like that. You are simply writing on this blank sheet of paper. But how I use it is I use it in my classroom. So I walk around the classroom with this in my hand and then I'm able to write and it shows up on my projector because I just have that Inkspace app open and you can just be in the live mode there. And so as you're writing, it's showing up on your projector screen in the classroom. I also use it to write out all of my solution keys. So I actually have different legal pads. So I would have a legal pad for like AP Calculus, another legal pad for just my notes, and then I just swap out the legal pad so that I kind of, I like to just have my notes separate so that I can keep the legal pad later. I know it's all digitized, but I have been keeping them. So that's how I do things there, and you can easily just swap it out. Again, you can use any paper. You just have to be writing on this physical pad, and you have to be using their specific pen here. So you don't have color options. That's another thing to think about here. Um, this does come in two sizes. So this is a large size, which is a size of a you know, standard legal pad, and it also comes in a smaller size if you're looking for that. So I'm going to conclude this video. I hope that this helps and opens up potentially another option if you're really looking to just be able to have something that's a wireless whiteboard that you can carry around the room. The Wacom Bamboo Slate would serve that need. All right, that's it for this video. Bye for now.